Hello, I'm Robert Thomas with photoblogstop.com and today I'm going to show you a technique to add sunbeams or rays of light to an image using Adobe Photoshop CS5. To create this effect we're going to be using a layer mask and to create that layer mask we're going to be using a color channel. So let's begin by clicking on the channels palette and in this palette we're going to click on each of the color channels to determine which channel has the highest contrast between the trees and the sky. So let's begin by clicking on the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel. Now to me it looks like the blue channel has the highest contrast between the sky and the trees. Let's look at that one more time. The red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel. Okay. The blue channel does have the highest contrast, so we're going to use this channel to create a layer mask. Now we're going to do that by uh, creating a duplicate of this color channel. Do so by clicking on it and dragging it down to the Create New Channel icon. That will create a duplicate of the channel. And with this channel selected, we're going to turn it into a mask basically and we're going to do that by taking the dark areas of the image and making them darker and the light areas lighter. Now there are several techniques in Photoshop that you could use to accomplish this. You could use levels, you could use the calculations command. Um, for our purposes because the mask we're creating is not critical, it's, it doesn't have to be accurate, uh, we just want some sunbeams, we're just going to use a simple quick technique. Uh, this technique entails using the fill dialog box. So let's open the fill dialog box by on a Mac doing shift delete on Windows it would be shift backspace. And here we want to select the use color of black and blending mode should be set to overlay. Now when I click OK you'll see the dark areas in the image turn darker. Very good. Now we want to send the light areas of the image lighter. So we will repeat this process by doing Shift Delete on a Mac or Shift Backspace on Windows to open the Fill dialog box. This time the use color should be set to white. And again the blending mode should be set to overlay. When I click OK you'll see the grays in the sky turn lighter. OK, I think the sky could be whiter yet so we're going to repeat that last procedure one more time. So I'm going to do Shift Delete on, on your Mac or Shift Backspace on Windows to reopen the Fill dialog box. And once again, use color white, mode overlay, click OK, OK to apply the fill. Very good, that looks fine for me now. Um, so this color channel is now ready to be used as a mask. And uh, we're going to load it as a selection. So on a, a Mac, you want to do Command and click on the color channel icon. On Windows, that would be uh, con Control click. And uh, the selection has been loaded, and you can see that by the marching ants on the screen. So now that the selection has been loaded, we'll go to the Layers palette, and we're going to click on the Create a New Layer icon. And again, we're going to open the Fill dialog box. So do Shift Delete on a Mac or Shift Backspace on Windows. The Use Color should be set to White. And this time, the Blending Mode should be set to Normal. Click OK to apply. On a Mac, do Command D to deselect. On Windows, it would be Control D. And now we're ready to apply the Sunbeams. To apply the sunbeams, go up to the filter menu, down to blur, and select radial blur. Now, as of Photoshop CS5, there's still no preview for applying the radial blur. So what you'll have to do is give it your best guess uh, to see if you get the positioning correct. And if you don't, you just undo it and try again. Now I'm going to show you a little trick that will help you determine how accurate the positioning is. And you'll understand what, I, what I'm referring to in a second here. So the amount set to 10. Blur method, set that to spin. Quality, set that to draft. And we're using these low settings for quick rendering so we can find out exactly where we're positioned. 
Now in the blur grid, click and drag the center point to the location that you want the blur to be emanating from. Now in this image, I'd say that's probably you know, about there. So I'm going to click OK to apply the radial blur. And as you can see, I'm a little bit high and to the left. So I'm going to undo that by on the Mac, Command Z on Windows, Control Z. I'm going to go back to the filter menu, blur, radial blur, and I'm going to move my center point to a new location. Hopefully that'll do it. I will click on OK to apply it. That's pretty close. OK, um, that's, that's where I want it. I'm, I'm happy with that. So now we're going to undo this and apply the sunbeam effect for real this time. So once again, Command Z on a Mac, Control Z on Windows. Go back to the filter menu, blur, radial blur. This time, set the amount to 100, the blur method to zoom, and quality to best. Click OK to apply the blur filter. Now this is going to take some time to complete, so I am just going to cancel out of it and go to another version of this image I've already created with some layer comps. So here you can see we have a version with no sunbeams. Here's a version with one application of the sunbeams. And as you can see with just one application of that filter blur, the sunbeams are a little bit sharp. They're not very soft. So what you would do is you would apply that blur a second time. Now you could do that by going up to filter, blur, radial blur, or just simply do command F on a Mac or control F on Windows to apply the last filter. And that's what I did here with the second application of the, of the blur. And if you wish, you could do it a third time. Here you can see it's getting even softer yet. For this image, I believe the uh, two applications of that blur was sufficient. So we're going to stick with that. And I'm going to remove these layers that were not, are not needed right now. There we go. Okay, so we're, uh, we're now at the point where we have applied that radial blur two times. And uh, now for the next step, we're going to apply a um, add a layer style. So um, click on the add a, a layer style icon, the FX down here at the bottom, and select outer glow. And in this dialog box, we want to set the blend mode to soft light. Opacity, we want at 100%. And the first time in Photoshop history, probably, the yellow color is actually appropriate for this, this effect. We'll leave that alone. And set the size to 5. Now, you could increase this value if you want a softer blur. But for our purposes today, we'll just leave it at 5. And I will click OK to apply this new layer style. And there you have it, the finished image. You've now successfully applied sunbeams to your image using Adobe Photoshop CS5. Thank you for watching.